This is actually really awesome for me because this is the first preview copy of any game we've been given and to me that means wonderful things. But I'm going to stop talking about me and us and I'm going to start talking about the game. So this would be Tiny and Big in Grandpa's Leftovers. Now, if you've played Tiny and Big in Up That Mountain, you'll know the idea of Tiny and Big. If you don't, then you can obviously read the things that are going on in the background. Basically, your grandpa, a crazy old geezer, left you some underwear and we don't really know why it's because he's crazy obviously big stole them tiny is now trying to get them back and to do this you enter a wonderful physics based world where you can pull and push things and use rockets and you just kind of have to move everything around and it's a wonderful kind of puzzle platform-esque style game in a brilliant art style and it's from the guys at black pants game studio now there's a tutorial at the beginning, which is brilliant, and I'm not going to show it, and I'll explain why. The tutorial is based on Tiny's Game Boy in his hands, and it's wonderful, and it shows you all of the tools. However, it's then like, get through this level using these tools, and as it's a physics-based game, you have to redo things a few times, and I could be sat there for like 20 minutes trying to show you this thing. Because if I pull something wrong, I could end up getting stuck in the level and having to restart from a checkpoint and all this stuff. So I'm just going to jump straight into the game. So this is just after the tutorial. You haven't missed anything. The tutorial takes place on his handheld in the taxi that you see him on. On the menu screen, it's wonderful. The menu screen kind of just um, flows into the game. So there you go. Tiny has lost his whole equipment. You're in the bowl of trying. You have to get the radio. And then we just need to go and grab all of our tools and go find Big. And, okay. Right, so we have the radio, and now we need to find things. So here you go, like, you can push and pull things around. I don't have any of my tools, so I can't do anything yet. Here we go, what do we got? We have a tool. Which tool did we get? Aha, we have the rope. So, to use the rope, you have to right click. You uh, can aim at something like so, and then you can pull it about and interact with it in all kinds of wonderful ways. Now, there is something really, really problematic with this game. And it's not problematic with the actual game engine or anything, it's problematic for if you're an idiot, like so. Watch. Down it comes. You are dead. Things have a weight if you're not smart, and if you're a moron like me, you'll end up killing yourself multiple times. Let's go ahead and get up here and grab this tool. So it's really, really easy controls to use for messing around in the tutorial. At least it seems it. It's W, A, S, and D to move, spacebar to jump. Now, I've got the cutting tool, I believe. So I've got the pull tool, which I can use like so, with right click. And I've got the wonderful cutting tool, and I'm going to show this off right now. So you hold left click, and you get this wonderful marker, and then you can just choose to cut things any way you like, as long as you cut from the whole object. You have to cut at least the entire object away from everything else that it's sat with. If you don't reach the entire object, you get an error message. And I'm going to cut there. And I'm going to pull this thing down. Like so. Ah, what did we get? Hmm. We got a cassette. Okay, that doesn't appear to be any of my objects. Hmm. Right, let's cut this one like so, so it slides. Is that gonna work? Yes, look at that. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Aha, we found the rocket. Right. Let me show off the rocket. So, middle mouse to attach a rocket to something, and then you hold middle mouse again, and the object goes flying away. And as long as you hold middle mouse, the rocket will keep firing. As soon as you let go, it doesn't. Oh, there's actually a test for the rocket as well. Let's check this out. It's awesome, they've left things laying around in the first level that you can mess around with. Like so. And away it goes. Right, so we have all of our tools now, I think. Yes. Right, okay, brilliant. Okay, yeah, I've seen a lot of exits in my day, and that surely looks like one. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, they clearly don't know me. 
<laughs> it's like, well, it shouldn't be too hard unless you're a moron. Come on. Let's go that way. So, uh oh. Whoa. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh. Ow. That wasn't the object I wanted to cut, but okay. Ow. Let's head over here. Come on. Tiny person. Giant brain. Let's slice through the entire object like so. Huh. You nearly got killed. I did just get killed, Radio. Stop complaining. Whoa. Okay. Are we good? Can we reach that one? Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Down you go. Right. Can we up on there? Yep. And then... Uh oh. Nope. Right. Up. 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 Then up. Yes. Success. You have found a boring stone. Ooh. Right. Apparently there are collectibles here. Boring stones. Hmm. Is that going to be tied to achievements? Let's have a look. Boring stone. Collect a thousand boring stones. Collect a, a thousand? Really? Find every stone in the first level. Second level. Aha. Awesome. Where are we going now? Uh-huh. I suppose that's where I have to go. Awesome. Okay. Uh oh. It's big. Ow. How come big is tinier than me? Also, he stole my pants. Hmm. From altitude on upwards. Right. Forwards. Forwards. Ah, oh, come on. I want to cut things. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Yikes, I nearly got killed. Again. That was big, right? It was. Kicked your ass pretty hard. You can climb up the mountain, you might get the chance to pay him back. Right, so we have to climb all the way up here. Shouldn't be too hard. Another cassette. Mm, someone looking for pants. This seems to be the right place. Right. So if we cut this like so... And then pull that off there like that. Now you can pretty much cut up anything as long as it actually is an object. For example, I can't cut this, but I can see like but I can cut these. So there are some limitations, but not many. There are limitations where it makes sense. I.e. the floor. And uh oh. Hmm. Cave in. Aha. We pull this down and watch out so that we don't get crushed. Can we get up there? Come on. Yes. Damn it! Okay, let's run round. And up. Aha. And we head up here. So the art style is very unique and comic booky. I can't really think of any game that I've seen that has an art style like this off the top of my head. There's one that kind of comes to mind, and for the love of everything, I cannot remember what it is at all. But it's not really an art style you see a ton of people use. And it's brilliant, and I love it. It really works with the whole pulling things apart, and where the hell am I meant to go? I can't go down. Can I... Ah. Is that gonna work? No. Come here. Well, dicks. Um... Hmm. Can I do something with this, maybe? Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, poop sock. Where am I meant to go? Okay, well, can we go back in? Oh, we can... Why go back here? Because I thought this was the way I needed to go. Because 
because I'm inept and can't find my way out. That's why, radio. Why am I talking to the radio? Oh, come on, get up there. No, no, oh, there we go. And running jump. Oh, aha, I can get up inside. Right, oh, no, 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 don't cut those. No, I don't want to cut. No, I just want to cut this one. Just that one, there. And then if I can cut it there as well, surely I can pull that that way a little bit and, oh god, there we go. A little bit of a messy bridge, but I think it will do. And up. And jump. No. Poop. Can I move this? No. Right. What I can do is cut that and attach a rocket there and that's not going to work because the rocket is going to propel it too far. Hmm. There's no way it's going... Oh, maybe if I can... No. Um... Right. If you press O, you can actually go back to the beginning of that checkpoint. So let's cut this one. Let's go up this way this time. And we cut that. Oh god, oh god, oh no. Let's try that again. Right, we'll cut it. Like that, and we'll move it from down here so that I don't end up getting my face caved in. And then we'll cut this one like so. Then pull this out of the way. And then I can jump up on here like that. And then up here. And we'll cut this one again, and I'll move out of the way this time. And... That should enable me to fall like a moose. Up. Up. Can I now climb? Come on. Let me climb over it. I don't want to pull it all the way off. Okay, fine. Cut that one there. Come on. Oh. Right. Now I should be able to get up and over it. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And now I can move this bit. Come on, come on, come on. Down. And then if I cut this one... So that time. And then pull it towards me. Oh god. Now I should be able to up and up. Aha! Uh -huh. Victory. Excelsior. Is that going to hold? Yes. Success. We are climbing. Onwards and upwards. Upwards and onwards. Right. And now we can... I get a feeling I don't want to stand on that thing. Nope. That'll do it though. I can stand on that thing. Then we push this off. Yes. Oh, we don't even need to. Look at that. The whole... Brilliant. Let's get to cotton. Oh. No, come on. There we go. And up. Brilliant. Glory. Success. A cutting we will go. Stand further back, you idiot. Don't get crushed. Choppy chop. Oh, oh, no, no. There we go. And we are up. And... No! Oh. Oh. We good? No, 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 no. Oh, you blocked my path. Push it. There we go. 
Alright. Not going to fall for that again. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's raining bricks. Oh no! Big is pushing things down on us. Ah, here you are. What? Why did you throw a stone at me? Ow! And off Big runs. Let's move on up. I'm gonna see... How many times I can actually cut this pillar. Whoa. The wonderful thing is that I found from messing around in the tutorial is it doesn't seem to care how many times you cut an object or even multiple objects. You can cut it as many times as you like in many different angles and it will just happily do it. It doesn't seem to cause any frame rate loss or slow down or any kind of glitches. I'm sure if you kept doing it, it would get to a point where it would reach that level. But it seems so smooth and so fantastic and so wonderful cutting pieces out of everything. And the great thing is that I can just do this now and I can cut all of them in half. And I can do this, cut them all into pieces again. And again. And again. And again. And it's wonderful. And there's all these, well, dozen pieces maybe? A little bit more than that? And it just doesn't matter. The, the game still just handles it smoothly and wonderful. And I think I can't jump up on that one. No. Can I? Maybe? Yes! Look at that! There we go. So, I have to admit, I'm impressed by the guys at Black Pants. The physics engine for this really works. Oh, I fell to my death. And it's really unforgiving for me, because it's just like, well, you have died. You have died. You have died. So there you go. Tiny and Big Grandpa's Leftovers. It comes out on June 19th from GOG.com, and it's priced at 9 bucks. So uh, I think it's like 15 euros on their site, on the actual like Tiny and Big site. But GOG, go there, get it. 9 bucks. Fantastic. Cheap. Brilliant. Wonderful physics, lovely game, and I'm going to sit here and keep chopping the ever-living crap out of something. Let's see if I can die just before the video ends, because that would be the best way to go out. So, if you have any questions, queries, or comments, of course, leave them down below. And I hope you enjoyed watching this game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Tiny and big, it seems fantastic. The physics engine is wonderful. I really... Wow, I can't say enough nice things about it. It's just so smooth and brilliant and I can't seem to actually stop cutting things to pieces at all. Why? Well, why would you want to? There you go. So I will catch you for the next video which I believe will be STS tomorrow with Luke and Cal. So until then, peace!